this. Um, we're gonna go black screen for a moment. And I'll be... I'll be right back and I do a couple things. And I'm back. Make sure the door closed properly. And live chat enabled. You already see flashes of light down to the north. That's Fort Scott getting screwed up. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I'll go out here actually until the rain actually hits. Um, see if there's any more trees down. Um, which means enable flash. Um, but yeah. I hope that's Christmas lights over there. Um, and it look like, yeah, that's Christmas lights over there, and it doesn't look like there are any new trees down, but we'll be able to see a little bit better in the morning when the sun's up. Sun's been set for a couple hours now. Um, but yeah, that system's staying to the north. We got our own system coming over here in an hour or two. Um, or even less than that. Um, but I tend to be live for the entire event. Um, yeah. It's like I would be covering the tornadoes up north, but I gotta deal with the same system. Bankston is crazy. Um, but the house in the way, I'm not gonna be able to feel much of the wind come from the south, but. Yeah, got as much as we could inside the house that we could in terms of stuff that could be potential debris. I uh, left the chair out so I could sit on it, but that's about it. But with me sitting on it, that should anchor it. Um, but this system will be, I hear a train, that must be a tornado. No, it's an actual fucking train. No, <laughs> but yeah, tornadoes are, tornadoes are possible with this system. Um, I am starting to see flashes of light over there, but, um, the wind's already been taking out street lights, power lines in the area, trees. It's like... 
I won't be surprised if we lose power. I can say right now, if we lose internet, I will switch this to record and I'll upload it as soon as the internet comes back on. Because I'm that dedicated. Okay? I'm that crazy. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but yeah. Obviously, after stream, updates on Quakes as they come in, updates on Ray as it comes in, and updates on the severe weather as it comes in. Um, but after this stream, it'll be who knows how long. And expect a lot of highlights. Expect a lot of highlights. Um, leaves are already hitting. Alright. Um, but yeah. Also, apparently there's dust storms just to the west of this front. So. We might also have a haboob. A haboob. Yes. Which is just the sandstorm. The fancy name for sandstorm. Um. So, if we get a dust storm, I'm definitely covering that on camera, too. Don't you worry about that. Um, but yeah, we got hurt. Hurricane force winds possible. Whole nine yards. This part of the front is trying to weaken, but I think it's going to reverberate and stuff. We got the instability for it. Winds are picking up. Anyone say anything? Nope. I have a feeling we're going to get something. Not Kentucky style craziness, but we're definitely going to get something. Um. But. So it's still clear enough for us to see the moon. Um, so yeah, I see a few stars too, but clouds is moving on by, chucking on by. Um, yeah. Anyone active on Discord? Or ah, I'm live with the storm. I'm gonna get I actually might go BRB so I could do that. So, BRB, I'm gonna do that. And back. So, just pinged a couple people on D Discord. JK, I just went to a small uh, server that I'm in with a few folks that love chaos and just pinged everyone and let them know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but they might show up. They'll be like, okay, what the fuck's happening? Nothing's happening. See ya, bye, or whatever, I don't know. But, yeah. These cars are zooming on by, but they have a pretty good tailwind, so. Now at least the ones going north have the tailwind. Um. But yeah, this live stream, I'm expecting to be two or three hours long. And this is before taking the five hour energy, so I'm not even wired yet. That's how bad this is. It didn't even wait. <laughs> but. If anything, I might end up taking a five hour energy tomorrow just because. Um, oh, also speaking of which, Ray is supposed to make landfall as a super typhoon tonight. At midnight. I won't get the update till about three in the morning. So that's reason enough to drop the, uh, um, to crank up the five hour energy. Um, midnight landfall of a super typhoon in the Philippines. 
That sounds like fun. Especially for the Philippines. Um, but anyways, we're just bound to have some chaos this month. I just didn't think we are going to have all the forms of chaos. Got fire danger too, out west. Real bad fire danger. Um, if this is going to be a low precept thunderstorm, I'd be happy, honestly, because I don't have to take cover under the porch. But I doubt that's going to be the case. We're going to get rained on, for sure. But... Anyone have any questions on my sanity or anything? If it's even worth questioning at this point? <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's probably not worth questioning my sanity. Because I don't know the answers either. Um, but yeah. <sighs> and there is a lot going on. There's nothing going on immediately, but <laughs> there's a lot with this system. There's a lot this system had to offer. Mustang going on by. Something stumped in the house. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, got a little truck well, that's missing a tailgate. Probably because of the, the wind. No, JK. A lot of people just don't have the tailgates on their truck. But that's probably because people, for some reason, think it's a good idea to just steal people's tailgates. Like, what the fuck is wrong? With oh my god, people are stupid. Like, why are you stealing tailgates? Like, how bad is your life where you have to resort to stealing people's tailgates like now now they can't can't go do tailgating events <laughs> fucking inconsiderate assholes no <laughs> jk but still it's like oh and now there's heavy snow squalls going on in nebraska after the tornado went through that's the main concern here is like how quickly will this turn into fucking snow So, like I've been saying, after the tornadoes, you're looking at a blizzard. The snow side is having a looking at blizzard-like conditions. Why you got a boat? Like it ain't gonna flood. But all right. Surge in traffic. I guess the light just turned green. That's all. Um. But yeah. Trying to take the phone. Um, the phone flies is because of the wind, and I hope it flies. Celero <laughs> has a big bulky phone, so it's a bulky phone, so it might be a plus there. Um, and what's up with people ordering Domino's with the severe weather? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why? Why is why is that the thing? But just by the fact that they're heading towards, yeah. Yeah, the dogs are coming out. This is gonna be fun. I know. But once it does become crazy, y'all gonna be coming up to the porch. You're not even leaving the porch. Cat, why you don't? Did you let the cat up, my? Dogs just gotta use the bathroom, you know. You gotta go. You gotta go. Mother Nature will not stop you. Doing Mother Nature things. And light just went off. Okay. Dog might trigger itself. Hello. Yeah. Why you doing, Jack? What are you doing? Jack. Dogs.
Hello. Yeah, just waiting on the storm to hit. I think I started the stream a little early. But the winds are proving to be pretty something. The dogs surely are having fun with the wind. They sure love the wind. Everyone's coming in. Hello. But I think I might head up on the porch to sit down just to rest my feet. Um, but that's the only reason. Um, plus, then the animals also see that I'm on the porch. Joey, out of the road. Out of the road. Oh my gosh. You guys need to stop with that shit. Notice. Like, but now that I'm up here, I might disable flash. Um, there we go. Um. Now, lightning will flash. A lot. And apparently Kraft will now pay you 20 bucks to not make cheesecake. What the f- Is it that bad of a shortage? What? Okay, I gotta look into that. After this storm. But like what? Is that like a shortage thing, or is it a vegan thing, or what? Hello. Yeah. Apparently, Kraft is gonna pay you 20 bucks to not make, uh, cream, uh, cheesecake. I don't know why that's a thing, but... Corporations are being weird. far north. Um, there's another system to the west that's coming in this way. It just, I don't know when it's gonna hit. Um. But we're under a severe thunderstorm watch until who knows when. Pretty much until it leaves. But, leaves us, but, yeah. It's, and there's a severe thunderstorm warning to the west of us. Like, literally just the county over. Um. But the storm is on the west of that warning the last time I checked, so... I won't know how long it'll be. Yeah, cat just joined me. He being good. He's a being a good kitty. Yeah. Just jump right into my lap. I know. You think I'm crazy for being out here in the storm, huh? Soon to be storm. I've been seeing occasional flashes just to the west, so that means it's getting closer if you can see the lightning. Um, but I'm just, like, in case anything happens, if we get some rogue bolts and before the storm hits, but CMS, what? CMS, crazy man suit. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. But you guys know what would be hilarious? Like, if you were to twist the whole MAGA phrase to make America gorgeous again. You know? <laughs> Just throw off the liberals. No. Make America gorgeous again. They'll throw them off. But like, yeah, we're down for it. MAGA. <laughs> oh, no. Halo. Um, cat just jumped down. Rude. Dogs, come on. What are you guys doing? 
The wind's getting a little hectic. Well, it's been hectic all day, so... Not really nothing new. Not really anything new. There's even horses in the distance, but you can't really see them with the phone. Whether or not I enable Flash, you won't be able to see them. Flash ain't that strong. Um, but doggy! Chewy! Ah, the dog's in a bit distance barking. I think they see you. Choo Chewy! Come on! Inside! Come on! I the, the other door's open. Come on! Might be closed by now, I don't know, but y'all be running up here the moment the rain starts. Now I'll open the door, let you all in. The cow will probably run into the truck, but gets he psycho like that. Like, I'm gonna go under here, you know, it's all muddy and stuff. I just want out of the rain. Like, dude, you're out of the rain up here. But. Yeah. I got bundled up just for this occasion, though, because I know as soon as the storm hits, we're plummeting 20 degrees. Um, and it's 72 right now. We reached a high of 75. So, and keep in mind, it's December. The record high for the month, up until the first Thursday of this month, was 75. Now it's like 80, because that first Thursday of the month. But, and that means that literally... January is now the only month out of the year that we have not seen an 80 degree temperature day. That makes, that, that's a crazy thing. January is the only month out of the year where we did not see a high of 80 or higher. I think the record high for that month is like 75, 76. But that was like towards the end of the month or like towards the beginning. I'm not sure, somewhere in the month. So it's like mid, low to mid 70s for the record high for the month. Um, but just by how this winter is going, we might hit that for January. I know, right? Sounds heavenly. I know. Having eight 70s and 80s in December in Kansas. Also having 70s in Iowa and Minnesota in December with a tornado outbreak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That means you're probably in like Montana, Washington State, New Hampshire. You're somewhere in the north. Definitely not like Mid Plains. Yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah. Thing is, that's not our averages though. Our average is, our average high is 50. Our low for this morning was 65. <laughs> so our lows were like 15 degrees warmer than what our highs should be. But it's all good. Come Saturday, we're plummeting into the teens for the low. Highs in the 30s. Oh, that's a nice flash. But yeah. We're definitely getting something. For sure. Definitely gonna have so much fun. Rip my home. What happened? What did what did you do? What did you do? Did you what did you do? What happened? Did you get derechoed? Did you get derechoed? Like what happened? Are you stop? What are you doing on my face? Why are you on my face? Why are you on my face? Why are you on my face? Huh? Why are you on my face? Oh, huh? well, Flash, do why are you on my face for? Hmm? Is a cat? It's a dog. Wonder dogs. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm in Kansas. So, not really much different. Um, not really far from you. Um, <laughs> we're getting the same shit. It's just it's taking a sweet ass time. Oh well. It's seven, it's supposed to be here by eight. Oh, burpee. Yeah, there's that. Um, no. A fucking pop up just popped up, and I. Just, oh my god. I actually tapped on a notification. That's all that happened. We're back. Hopefully. Um. Go, yes. Come on. Go, go. You down. Are you down for the count? Thank like, yes. My leg is fucked up. What you do about it? You know. Cuckoo! What are you doing? Say, dude, I'm gonna just lay here. Y'all just laying down, aren't you? Yeah, this breeze feels nice. It feels nice. I know, you guys are not used to this shit. For this time of year. And I got my kitty again. <laughs> he came right up to me again. He did not want picked up this time, but he got picked up anyway. Yeah. Did you get into some horse stables? You smell like horse. Crazy cat. <laughs> uh, I'm down to something. You're going after some mice, weren't you? You're going after some mice. Hmm. Savage killer. I like you. I like your savage. I like the savage cat. And you're trying to bite my finger. What the hell? Ah. I know. You like the attention. But you're going to be trying to get away from me the moment the rain starts. And we get some lightning up close. Sometime soon. What's my phone percentage at? 92? Okay. That should be fine. Supposedly this phone has like a 36, 48 hour battery life. Okay, they're calling them. <laughs> there, the dogs are summoned. So, they're going back in. Ah, <laughs> it's a fun day. Gee, what are you doing? But yeah, well that's this uh that's my only cat. We got three dogs and a snake on top of that. Only one of the dogs and the snake was planned. <laughs> but want to have have it any other way. Um. So. But, and the snake was kind of a, was the uh, stimulus check splurge item, essentially. But, and yeah, it's pretty much a hatchling and they live to be into their 30s. They're treated real, real well, they'll be, they'll be around into their, into their 60s. Um, so yeah, this snake could very well outlive me. Um, little ball python too. Like, like, all right. <laughs> Definitely got another lifelong pet with him. Um, pretty much well with the cat. Had him since like eight week gold kitten. When he followed me, when I, when he followed me home. Just before an ice storm hit too. So, he was definitely a one of the lucky ones. Um, one of the dogs was dropped off on our doorstep one day, and well. The one dog that I was planned, and then that one decided to have pups, and we ended up keeping one of those. So, yeah.
storm is getting closer. There's definitely more cloud cover. I'm gonna check to see if Twitter alerted anyone yet. Ah, uh, 3.1 in South Africa, that'd be something. I know, the storm's getting you a little freaked out. If you come this way, I'll let you in. Come on. I know, you want in the house. Come on. I'll bring you in, and i got to come back out here. I know. I did not want them <laughs> I want out to the storm. He wants out to the storm. I'm going to put him out of the storm. Cat is now inside. I wonder why I didn't go inside with him because it lets me out of the storm too. But it's like the storm is. Yeah, I get it. This is my job now. Literally is. Um. Today I'm officially full time YouTuber too. So, yeah. Two week notice. Ran out yesterday and uh, today. Um and yeah, officially full time YouTube. Um. Now, tomorrow I would have to go in, probably hang out a couple, a few minutes for the other uh, co-worker, well, former co-worker to handle his deck and then get a couple bags of dog food and that's it. I don't have to go back there until January when I gotta get the W-2 stuff and probably another bag or two of dog food. Um, and after that I only have to go there every so often for dog food and cat food. Um, But, yeah, that's about all I can say. It's a nice job, nice gig. Um, but, honestly, YouTube got a little, is starting to get successful. I don't want to jump on it, like, before it gets too out of hand and I have to quit one thing or another, like, immediately. And, yeah. Um, I chose the option that would get, provide me more fl flexible hours and stuff. Today wasn't very flexible with the tornadoes, but yeah. The days are a bit more slow where it's just earthquakes that I'm covering. Um, yeah, that's a bit more on the flexible on the hours. So, like Friday, starting Friday-ish, um, it'll be just earthquakes and Ray. Um, and then after Ray's gone, it's pretty much it until something else forms. Oh, they're home. Apparently. Like, okay. They also got a Mustang. They used to have a, ma have a massive truck, though, but they got rid of that, apparently. Um, if I'd known they were going to get rid of that, if I had the money, I'd be like, I'll buy it. Just drive it over here and drop it off, and when I get my driver's license, I'm going to start using it. <laughs> like, honestly. Um, like, if I had known that I had the money, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to do that shit. Fuck it. Um, but, yeah. But 
but yeah. Um, starting to get flashy. Fair warning for those of you who have epilepsy. Now is the time to leave. Um, but yeah, hello Kyle. But yeah. Oh, severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.15. Woo, we got something. Okay, what Twitter having? Some about sarcastic posky. Okay. And also, another news. The Palma is quiet. Eruption has ceased. Um, now it's just a matter of meeting lava that's up above ground cooling and, yeah. So I'll do an update on that after this. I um, should have done an update on La, La Palma a long time ago, like when I first got home. But no, nope, didn't think about it. It's very quiet now. Um, when it's starting to die down as the storm gets closer. Um, but, yeah. Actually, I'm a BRB. Got to check another uh, Discord server. And we're back. I had to check something. Um, but yeah. Hello. Back again. Apologies, Eric. I kind of cut you off. Um, but yeah. I do apologize for those that decided to leave because they thought I was done. No, I had to check something. Um, but I'm back. Um, just doing everything on phone. So, makes things a bit more complicated, but it's still doable. Um... And I don't care what's trending, Disney. I got a th severe thunderstorm. So. Yeah, hello, Kyle. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe a few more people coming in with how I dropped something in. It's like, yeah, I'm getting it all on camera. Um, because I don't know what to expect. I should probably check the Twitter to see. Yeah, I need to check that and see what's happening. Okay, back again. Appears the, wa the warning ends at the Frontenac Pittsburgh border. What the fuck? But still, 60 mile that winds, penny size hail. And that's likely what be the warning for this area when it comes into play. But, I, it means I'd have to check the radar, see what's happening. Here will be again. Okay, okay, now I, th okay, I think I know what's happening. Um, so you know how with the ratios, the stuff get, like, curls? Um, appears my area where the, the curl is happening is actually getting tighter and whatnot. It's, mm -hmm. so, the angle's getting more acute with the front. So, um, which that could actually increase the risk for flooding, which that might be an issue there. But, there is a little bit more on that. Um, there's going to be a lot there for sure. Um, but, yeah. Um, outside of that, um... Just gonna have some nice stormy weather tonight. Um, but that means that'll be full frontal view with the lightning. Which this thing has ample love. Um, and then when we actually get the system, oh, that's gonna be a nice little double whammy. But, like that bolt there. Um, yeah. Can I get a lot of those bolts? We're still too far away to hear the thunder. The winds are picking up whether or not we get the fucking storm. Um, winds will be strongest as the front gets closer. Um, That's something I've definitely learned with this system. The winds get stronger as the front gets closer. Um, but yeah. 
And the tornado threat is still there with these systems, so. But yeah. There's, I also seen a GIF of this thing forming, and like, oh my god. If it wasn't so destructive, it'd be such a beautiful sight. Like, honestly. Just all the colors on the radar. <laughs> Just curling up, and it's like, yeah, this thing's getting nasty. Um. Yeah, Bankston means no business. Atticus wasn't playing no fucking business either. Like, no. They mean business. Like. And another small earthquake struck a la uh, Hawaii. 2.7 magnitude. So there's that. Um. So after this, there's probably going to be a little earthquake compilation. Just a heads up. The cat's in the house. The cat is in the house. And we don't really have a garage either, so... We have a shed. That is shed, not a garage. He has a whole fledged cat tower. He's fine. Yeah, but he's in the house. Yeah. He's my little baby. I'm gonna protect him, the fuck? <laughs> but I ain't gonna deny him vitamin D either, so... That's the only reason he's, like, out here occasionally. He's like, I'm not gonna deny you vitamin D and the fact that he is a really good mouser. Like, ever since I got him, we've been mouse-free. Um, so, literally saved him from an ice storm, so, yeah. He's definitely a happy kitty, that's for sure. Oh, that person is very daring, driving a, riding a bike in that. Oh, he's riding his bike in the storm. You are a very daring person. I like you. Um. <laughs> and before we end up in a tornado and we see that person go in the bike and trans tra transform into some evil witch on a broom. <laughs> yeah. Um. And uh, with the amount of straw I dealt with, I'd definitely end up being the fucking scarecrow. Um, I'll just work, like, oh my god. I'm just happy I'm done with it. Um, it'll be completely out of the picture in terms of, like, work issues in January, because I'll that get W-2. Um, and then March is when the tax checks come in and stuff, and, like, alright. Why do people always insist on ordering dominoes in these storms? Like, what? Do people have a heart? Well, actually, what's what happened with Amazon and the candle factory it proved that people don't have a heart. But, well, people in, in a position of power tend to lose the position of heart. Um, like management, like, you no, know, they did just evil. That's something I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Especially with the bigger corporations and stuff like that. They think they have a power grip over you and it's like... As long as you keep bending to their will, they have a power grip over you. The moment you stop giving them that power, they're powerless. Thing is, it only works if everyone is like that. Because, like, if only one person is, like, not complying, then it's just easier for them to just, like... Like, just smite them down or whatever. But if everyone, like, stands up, or at least a majority of the people stands up, we overpower them? Yeah, there you go. Or, like, but that's when they'll probably back down. That's when they'll start giving in to demands, resigning, offing themselves off. 
Um, now, for the off chance that they do fight back, that's when the fun comes in. Um, but yeah. But that kind of fun is not for everyone, so. And this goes for every side involved. No, it doesn't matter what shape it is, all sides involved. Yeah, 4.8 magnitude earthquake in Guatemala. Well, 10 kilometers south southwest of Nuevo Zacapeca, <laughs> Mexico. Why the hell you. Um, or about 6.2 miles. About 100 kilometers deep, or about 62 miles. Um, but yeah. Can he give me some storm? The lightning's nice, but... Why is it so empty? It's so quiet. The lightning is quiet. I don't like it. Cause it's, that just means it's too far away, which... Like... Uh, yeah. Someone ordered p and someone on this road ordered Pizza Hut. That's just rude. Nice. And I'm and I'm uh, and I'm a uh, and I'm streaming this on my new Celero 5G phone. <laughs> Ooh, that was a grand level. This stuff is definitely kicking up. <sighs> Ooh. And if anything, that pizza guy might come back this way. I'm not sure. Um. I don't hear thunder, unless that's a train. I hear a train, but that's not an actual train. Something's going on. <laughs> Something's happening. I'm not sure if I should be, like... Shock face or happy face or what? I don't know, but that sounds like a train. I hear a train, but there's no train. I don't know what to expect, but I'm for sure happy about it. But yeah. <sighs> Mm -hmm. 
There he is. He went around. Okay. I know, right? But I'm technically broke right now because I had to help with the internet bill, but I get paid again tomorrow, final paycheck from work, paid again Tuesday from YouTube. So, I'll be fine. <laughs> and 4.2 earthquake in South Africa. That'll be covered after the storm. Um... Picking up for sure. But yeah. Um. Now oh, they're turning. Okay. Nice turn signal. Oh no, they actually had it on. Never mind. Um. Purple tunnel from holding the phone a little too long. That's fun. Um, if the storm would hit, uh, yeah. Don't you guys ever get carpal tunnel from holding the phone too long or texting too much? Like, honestly, carpal. Like, um. I'm sure with terms of evolution, with us using our hands for this sort of stuff a bit more often, um, we're probably going to end up, like, our descendants are probably going to evolve to, um, be a little bit more resistant to d disorders like carpal tunnel and, and uh, arthritis. Um, I honestly could see that happening. Um... So, there is that. So, our arms will be definitely different in, like, say, a millennia in the future, or something. Millennia two in the future.
So, ooh, definitely get some nice flashes. Still. Probably be year round. I mean, that's a pretty good possibility, actually. It'll be like every other season in the Indian Ocean and the Western and Pacific Southern Hemisphere. It could form any time of the year. I mean, that is true and for this hemisphere for the eastern pacific and atlantic it's just it's more frequent during the summer and uh late late spring through uh mid fall um but like i'm thinking as we get close at, with the climate change and whatnot um hurricane season could be, could become year round but thing is, if they're saying that the uh, Gulf, Gulf Stream is going to go away, wouldn't that hurt hurricane numbers in the Atlantic Ocean? Because the Gulf, Gulf Stream is crucial for a lot of these hurricanes to form. Um, without that, hurricanes go bye-bye in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, at least in where the Gulf Stream is, but... I mean, all that would really do is protect the northeast of the U.S. and Canada from actually having hurricanes and tropical storms. But outside of that, like... If the Gulf Stream goes, so does hurricanes. So I'm not sure what to expect. But with if it's everything's warming, which everyone is saying it is, um, the Gulf Stream would warm up. Everything else would warm up, um, and that would increase hurricane numbers, and that would turn into a year-round hurricane season. Um, we go through A through Z by June, and we have to do it again June through December um, type deal. Because, yeah, that's what we could be looking at. Um, although, I don't think I'll be within the next 30 years. I could probably be in the next century or two. But, yeah, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty strong possibility of that. Plus, with supposed sea level rise, that would um, increase the uh, domain for hurricanes to form. So, there's that op option too. Um, Okay, so it looks like the storm to the north has kind of pushed off. Okay, got tornado warnings popping up for sure. Yeah, Falkville, South Africa with a 4.2. Um, storms is expected to start at around 7.54. Um, 7.54, that's... Eight? Okay, so that's about 20 minutes from now. I will have to be here for the north. The storm to our west went sub-severe, but it's still expected to impact us in the next 20-30 minutes. Um, and could still be pretty electrical, so I'll still get that streamed, whether it's severe or not. Because it's looking to be at least electrical. Um, and it should be a quick 30-minute storm. So we got an hour stream, hour and a half stream before we get the actual storm, and that's gonna be an a half an hour. Okay, that works. Um, but yeah, slight risk. It's wind-driven, 
that's literally the only threat we have. Um, but everything else is starting to subside with the duration and stuff, but it's still going strong. Um, but outside of that, it's just having a little fun with the storm nonetheless while it's here. Um, it may strengthen back up and get severe warned again, so that is a possibility. Um, but it's definitely going to be something for the record books. It's a nice December storm. Like, can we have this every December? <laughs> Just not the tornadoes that wipe out half of Kentucky. Um, but little storms here and there bring us into the 70s occasionally. Like, it's just nice. Like, bring out the snake in December because it's warm enough to do that. Like, can we just have that? Like, the nice side of it? Just not the destroy Kentucky part of it? Um, is that too much to ask? <laughs> but, I do have a feeling that this will bite us in the ass come tornado season. All this nice winter weather. Oh, come tornado season, we're all screwed. <laughs> We're just screwed. Like, it'll make 2011 seem like nothing. Seem like... Tw it'll make 2011 seem like 2013 in terms of tornadoes. Okay? I'm just putting it out there. Like, it'll make 2011... Yeah. Y'all know what I'm meaning there. Okay, they're telling something. Okay. Um, but still. <laughs> it, it, it may be that bad. Who knows? Um, yeah. Um... December already tried to make 2011 seem like 2013, but um, it failed miserably on that part, except for the fact that the whole mesocycle discussion stuff outnumbered the one from the tornado outbreak that produced the 300 plus tornadoes. Um, and our technology keeps on improves it, improving. So. That could be a factor of climate, ch like climate change. Like it could just be the fact that we're better at documenting this shit, and we're continuing to get better at documenting this shit. And there's the Domino's vehicle going on by. But yeah, I wonder how many vehicle these vehicles are DoorDash vehicles. Speaking of which, I did order a couple things last night and th t today for from DoorDash because I was hungry, bored, and lazy. Um, hungry, lazy, and had money. Um, bad combo, by the way. Um, yeah, from this nice, tr like, local place called some Tropical Cafe. Um, got some buffalo chicken wraps. That was actually pretty good. Uh, a little salad, that was something. It wasn't, like, okay, something's going down. We already got fire trucks. Storm hasn't even hit yet. We already got fire trucks coming. What the hell? Dude, you better pull over. Little Prius, he'll plow right into you. You'll end up needing a fucking fire truck. Yeah. And looks like you had some issues too, judging by how your headlights out. Um, but. But yeah, um, before I was rudely interrupted by some, by something, um, yeah, I, I forgot what I was saying, god damn it. Um, but, oh yeah, the Tropical Cafe, um, like Buffalo Chicken Ranch, no, no, not ranch, Buffalo Chicken Wrap, that was pretty fucking awesome, um, couldn't finish it because it was spicy as hell, um, but it's Buffalo Chicken, so what do I expect, um, the little salad, not really much there, but they use Parmesan crisp, which is pretty interesting. Um, there's also got a little thing of kale apple slaw. I don't know what that was, but it's not bad. It's good. And a peanut butter banana smoothie with an edible strawberry flavored straw, because that was the thing. Um, that totaled like 40 bucks with like a $5 tip. Um, for the DoorDash guy. And then this, like, lunch, I got a little turkey bacon sandwich and some p potato 
um, the sweet sweet potato bites um, it was pretty good there and that was 25 bucks with like a four dollar tip like oh my god it's pricey so I probably won't do it that much um, I'm surprised I did it a second time but it's like what do you expect it's um, but it was not bad it was not bad stuff um, it's definitely the healthier restaurant out of the bunch and that is this um, town but it was a pretty nice restaurant nonetheless <laughs> But <laughs> Domino's once again. Take why. But the storm should hit eventually. I mean, still got another ten minutes. Uh, something's going on. Uh, 2.8 magnitude earthquake at Tetlak, uh, Tetlak, Alaska. That will be covered accordingly. Um, Nevada, Lamar, Frontenac, Kansas. Okay. Uh, something's going on with the volcano. Oh, glowing lava bombs thrown from crater with the Suwan... No se jima, uh, so on no jima volcano. There's lava bombs getting flown, yeeted from the crater. Okay, uh, we're gonna have fun with that, aren't we? Um, yeah, it's very dark over there, but it's dark over here too. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, uh, uh I wish. Honestly, I wish super chats were were dropped direct, directly into bank copies. Like, it, like, <laughs> like honestly, like drop a twenty dollars super chat, I'll order pizza right now type deal. But I, I'm not being serious there, so no, don't, don't do that super chat. No, don't do that. But like, <laughs> but it's like a I don't want to be one of those people that orders a pizza in the middle of a severe storm. Like I don't want to put them in danger. Like, if I'm not going to put myself in danger to get a pizza, I'm not going to put someone else in danger for that. Like, to get to get me a pizza. Like, no. No. That's my philosophy on that. But yeah, hello, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, I just had a little fun with pizza and stuff, and because every like five or ten minutes, there's either a Pizza Hut truck or a freaking Domino's vehicle that goes on by, and it's like, okay, people will be or like, oh my god, <laughs> like you're no better than the freaking Amazon guys that f and the candle factory management that forced um, the it, their staff to work during a tornado that got them killed, like. You're no better than them, honestly. Like, if you're not gonna put yourself in the danger to get the pizza, don't order a pizza. Don't put other people in, at risk for you to get your pizza if you're not gonna put yourself at risk yourself. Like, you think they gonna, they wanna be in that in the threat for severe weather? Do you think they wanna be driving in that shit? No, they don't. Most people don't. I would. I'd drive in that shit all the time if I knew how to drive in the first place. But, I don't know how, so I'm not. So, yeah. That's kind of radical what I said there, but it's like, I'm... This whole, like, being... Okay, what's... You, there's something wrong with your truck. You're not flooring it like everyone else. Okay, it's... Okay, you're just... 
slow growth and speed. Okay. Oh, you're one of those people that slow down before crossing train tracks. Um, but yeah, it's like... Like, I'm not trying to be all radical on this shit, but it's like... Weather safety is like one of my big things right now, like... That's legit one of my big things, like... That's why I made that one post that like nearly every storm related death is preventable like yeah in the case of the amazon warehouse and that candle factory yeah those deaths were preventable <sighs> that's a fucked up part like i mean yeah if you're just that unlucky and have a tree squash on you and you did take every pro proper precautions ever, uh, that you could and you still get murked, then yeah, then that's technically not a preventable death. Um, but if you're purposely going out there into the storm, that's a preventable death. Um, or if you're forced, where well, you're not able to take shelter, like, like if someone's preventing you from taking shelter, then that's a preventable death, and they should be held accountable if they happen to survive it. Ooh. And there's roofs flying off of elementary schools in Kansas. Okay. And 4.3 near Rotari, Japan. Hello. Oh, the box is okay. Yeah. It's getting ready to hit. We got another 10 minutes. Not 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 all not at all during this time of year. <laughs> the fuck? It's in the 70s at night in December. This is the kind of shit we see in May. And the uh, storms over there to the west. I'm not sure how electrical it is anymore, but but, yeah. It's December. It shouldn't feel like this to begin with. <laughs> like, you want to go that far? Yeah. It shouldn't be like that to begin with. Just took out broken boxes or whatever. Um, it's like, alright, you do that then. Um, he's gonna go around by. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are approaching the holidays, so flight travel will be increasing. So that could that that that, that could explain the extra chemtrails. Um extra flights would equal extra chem chemtrails. So, there's that. Um <laughs> But outside of that, I'm just like, what the fuck? Where's the storm at? Like, it should be here by now. Should be here by now.